Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm at the Seal of Forts because remember I said a while back I wanted to replay some of the guys I just didn't really give them a good chance to show their decks in their fall. Well, here we are. And also, because I have more coins to show too, so oops, that's the uh, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is another reason. But also because I've got more decks that I'd like to show, so Mewtwo deck, which I did not select, that's okay. So remember I mentioned this Mewtwo had a lot of power? Be a beatdown critter? Well, I didn't really have the cards for this sort of deck build before, you know, to build around it. Now I gotta do, so <laughs> let's go, go run over this again. Choose up the four energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to Mewtwo. You can discard this card, uh, discard the psychic energy cards various ways. Professor Oak is what I tried before, but really, you probably want to go for Computer Search, which I didn't have a lot of copies of before. So <laughs> discard two of the other cards in your hand. Energy cards, or just search for whatever you need. Yep, yep, yep. So that means pretty good chance of a turn to Cyburn, I've gotta say. Uh, I'd also like to show you different ways of using cards, like say, Ghastly, in case of Invisible Wall Mr. Mime, because, you know, just kind of two-turn KO guarantee there, or near guarantee there, I should say, and Energy Conversion, look at that, you can recycle your double colorless energy, as well as Psychic Energy too, of course, so that's pretty nice to have. I should have probably put this in the last deck that I made, but it didn't come to mind for some reason, but I'll put it in here just to show you. <laughs> Here's one copy just to show you. Uh, this Mew is good versus the Mew 2, because, you know, it takes three energy for the Cyburn, one for the Psy Wave, ten damage times number of energy cards, double damage, goes to 60, add a plus power for that, and you get your KO, but this is also handy versus other high energy critters, so I thought that would be nice to show since I didn't really show this Mew before in general. Oh, and Devolution Beam, just kind of knock out Pokemon if you have more damage counters or put more damage counters on it than its basic form. Say, give Gyarados 30 HP of damage, devolve it, turn it into the Magikarp with 30 HP for the KO. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's just like you evolve it, but it's a day evolution instead. It's just kind of like a, something else to show you. I only got one copy, like the Ghastly. Just kind of splashables for kicks. Another thing I wanted to talk about that I keep forgetting to talk about is Lickitung. I think this is actually a better stall than Chansey is. Because for one thing, one less energy for the Scrunch. Uh, I mean, for the, the Tongue Wrap as opposed to the Scrunch, excuse me. And the Scrunch doesn't prevent status ailments from hitting Chansey. And also, it doesn't prevent the opponent from, uh, like, switching or doing something more productive. Unlike Lickitung, which causes the potential of paralysis for the coin flip, as opposed to the Scrunch, which just reduces the damage to zero. So yeah, I think Lickitung, despite its lower HP, just it's gonna end up being a better stall overall. And <laughs> well, I guess he got Super Sonic as well, but that's not primarily what we got the Lickitung here for, just kind of for the stalls. Um, now, in case the opponent has some sort of colorless Pokémon, Hiccup, excuse me, <laughs> I've got Kangaskhan for the Comet Punch, as well as the Fetch for just drawing in general, which is pretty nice. But yeah, with the recycling of double colorless and the like, it shouldn't be too difficult to get Comet Punch powered up when I need to. The Coin Flips, on the other hand, they might they may fail me. <laughs> so as for trainers, yeah, energy removal. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Energy retrieval, which kind of complements the idea of Ghastly, but probably easier to use than Ghastly, although Ghastly can recycle a double colorless, which this cannot, so... I don't know, I just thought it would be handy, because I'm using low energy cards for in the sake of, you know, all the, the draw power and stuff like that. Speaking of, Professor Oak, you got your bills, and the computer search helps as well. Uh, super energy removal is only at two because I don't have that many energy cards and I can't attach energy cards in rapid succession except with Mewtwo. And if I'm attaching energy cards with Mewtwo, just to use the super energy removal, I don't get to use the super energy removal that turn and I don't get to attack that turn with the Mewtwo either because, you know, attacking with anything ends your turn. So I figured two should be, should be all right in that regard. Uh, Mr. Fuji and Scoop Up kind of does different things. Bench recycles more stuff 
than the Scoop Up, which is only just one of the basic Pokémon back to your hand, but they both have their uses, and surprisingly I only have one Scoop Up after all the boosters I've opened, so... <laughs> so Mr. Fuji is kind of kind of forcing my hand here to use it, but I was going to show you Mr. Fuji anyway in general, and this is kind of a good deck to utilize it, so... Alright, and plus power of course, you know, beatdown style deck, gotta have that. Uh, Bill for the draw powers, yada yada yada, and rock a sneak attack to disable the opponent, if at all possible. But only two copies, because chances are the opponent will use the trainer cards as they go and see fit, so... I figure the two copies would be fine, because uh, I might not be able to hit something with Rocket Sneak Attack all the time. It's it's handy to have, but you're not always going to get the benefit from it, other than just seeing the opponent's hand, I suppose, but yeah. Uh, other than that, that is the deck, and we shall see how it works versus the Masters. And I pressed A at the table. Mm, oh, have you returned? You really shouldn't have. But since you're here, you may challenge us at your leisure. So that was a little bit of different dialogue there. Uh, can I re... See, like, see if there's more dialogue? Like, before when I came in here, uh, I just kind of beat everyone and left, but I didn't come back for more dialogue. I'm not going to press anything this time. I'm just going to approach the table. Okay, so it happens automatically. Just the A button press was a coincidence. Uh, like, like timing in the same dialogue. Alright, so yeah, with all these guys... Especially this one. <laughs> I didn't really give a good showing, all. I figured these would be great guys to test our deck, since we didn't really see them in the challenge machine, they never pop up or anything like that. For some reason, I always found that kind of odd, but... Yeah, so, here we are. Stern will skip the statue here in the description. Ghostmaster Axel, everyone's friends, that's wiggly tough time! Yes, we would like to fight. And, seemed like the same dialogue. Uh, you think you can take me? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's get to the fight already. Six prize cards! Yeah, I think that was the same dialogue as before, but... This is a pretty good deck to test my deck against, because the Psychic and Colorless Pokémon kind of back and forth between his fighting and Colorless Pokémon. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, we shall see how that turns out. Uh, well, there's the Mewtwo. Yeah, it's a pretty nice start, if i ever seen one, so I think I'm gonna plop that out first, ghastly. And... We shall see how it turns out. Hopefully he doesn't lead with a Jigglypuff, because that would kind of throw off my Mewtwo plan. Magmar. Uh... Maybe it'll be an issue, we shall see. Speed! Oh no! We got the same amount of HP, so it could be very back and forth, depending on how things go and Bill. Before you Professor Oak anything, because I want to get uh, Psychic Energy cards into the discard pile, remember? It looks like that's not exactly going to happen right now, at least. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to Professor Oak that. I can recycle him with Ghastly anyway, as you know, so I can always get those double colorless back. I'm kind of bricking. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's okay, but... Uh, let's try something here. How we go energy retrieval? We discard the psychic. And... Wait, wait, what the... Oh, that's right, no base again. Oh, that's right, yeah. You can't, you, you can't discard it, then put it back in your hand. I forgot about that, because it's part of the cost, and it's not in the discard pile when you use... Yeah. Uh... Well, this is unfortunate. <laughs> I can't even use the energy absorption, really. Well, I mean, I can, but... I mean, it's just gonna be a, uh... Wait, can I... Can I heal Mewtwo with the potion? Never tried this before. Uh... I'm gonna skip that for Ghastly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it doesn't doesn't count if I put it on the Mewtwo. I just thought I would try it. Uh... But yeah, if I get another Psychic Energy, I can give that to Mewtwo for said turn to Cyburn as the idea. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have everything that I was hoping for, but it's just kind of a just how the Pokemon trading card game can work. Ah, but the coin flip worked in my favor. I will at least take that. <laughs> I also got another Mewtwo to fully demonstrate it, but I guess I did get the turn to Cyburn after all. Just not in that, not in the intended way, so to speak. 
And yeah, Mewtwo can also use any sort of energy back on itself, and look at that computer search. Um... Uh... Hmm... Hmm... No, I'm, I'm thinking I should grab Kangaskhan with that. I'm gonna discard a retrieval and... One plus power. Because the Kangaskhan is for the Wigglytuff, you know, he uses that and it's gonna be psychic resistant, but he doesn't have that right now, but you know he will! <laughs> so we're gonna put that in play, that on Kangaskhan, maybe we can get the knockout on the Magmar, nah. Smokescreen he is a bit of a hindrance, as you know, with this Magmar. I'm gonna go for the knockout on, yep. Yeah. That's okay, you go ahead and... Special punch to Mewtwo, I can recycle those energy cards for the other Mewtwo. So, this Bill. So, we shall do so there. I might actually... Oh, I was gonna say, I might actually energy removal, but yeah, I don't really have that yet. I'm bricking here! <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have no choice but to just go ahead and... Wait, wait potion energy instead, because I could use a Psychic on something else, perhaps. Oh, Gust of Wind, surprise! <laughs> and scoop up for the Magmar. Uh, looks like that Kangaskhan plan didn't work out. Oh, definitely didn't work out! It's gonna do 90. Oh, man! Well, I'll be able to retaliate right away with the Mewtwo, but still could use some of the draw power. I think I should have foregoed some of the energy removal for, for a challenge or something like that. Anyway. Um, let's put that on Ghastly for the future. He's definitely going to put out uh, the Scyther next, I would bet. Because, you know, the free retreat and everything like that, so... At least that's what I would do. Um... Yeah, I don't really think I need to do anything else, I'll Cyburn! <laughs> and that will be sad retaliation. Voila! Oh, Ma Magmar! You have a fire energy? I thought. Okay, you do. I guess then that makes sense, but I figured the Scyther with its free retreat costs, but I guess if you have the energy, it works just fine then. Uh, Bill? <laughs> uh, energy removal, energy removal. Okay, I like E. I like E very much. Mm, recycle it. You know, recycle the energy. In case I get another Kangaskhan, <laughs> I don't know if I will with my draw power. Ooh, Professor Oak, that's gonna bring out the Jigglies and the Wigglies. Probably. Fire to Magmar. And no, Jiggly? I, I was sure he would have gotten one out of that, unless he's holding it back until he can surprise set up or something. Hmm. Hmm. In any case, I'm gonna wipe that out and try again with the Cyburn. Because at the very least, I can just keep holding them back with the energy cards. Although, I kind of wonder if I should use that on the Wigglytuff, because it's a double colorless. Okay, let's see what he's got in the hand. He does have a Jiggly, but didn't play it. It's like Kaiba with his blue eyes white dragon, surprising Yugi with the ultimate dragon. Uh, which one should I do anyway? Probably the Scoop Up. Because the plus powers are just kind of... Well, they might, they may be useful, but I don't know if they're gonna be as useful as the scoop ups. Uh, let's try it again. Well, I, oh, that's right, it didn't attach energy to the magmar this time. That's right, that's right. So there's no try again. It just guarantees to work. And the scoop up for the magmar. Yep, there is the jiggly surprise ish. Uh, okay, so it's like maybe he, maybe he's like, okay, I, he knows I'm gonna play it. I might as well play it. Um, I should probably see if I can, I don't know, since I was say go for another Kangaskhan, but, hmm, hmm, I don't know, should, I probably should go for another Kangaskhan, um, first what I should do here, is recycle that potion energy, put Ghastly in play, and you see uh, Ghastly's got a different sort of... No yeah, it doesn't... 
I mean, it's not, uh... Weak to Psychic, like said, uh, Mewtwo is as well, too, but I don't think he's he utilizes Psychic Pokémon. Uh, There's another thing that I wanted to take note of here if you needed to have a little bit of a stall. Anyway, um, Computer Search! <laughs> Let's discard... Um... Uh, actually, maybe I should... Discard that, and that... For... Kangaskhan. That in play. Mr. Fuji, that Mewtwo. So we get that potion energy back. And I can't play that. Energy conversion, two energy cards, double, double. That's how things work here. <laughs> That's the way to get around certain things. And I may just switch out the Ghastly, it's a free switch. Go straight over. Well, should I? Should I try? I should probably try for the paralysis instead. Thank you. Because I was gonna say, for the sake of, uh, it's not gonna do any damage, but for the stalls, because otherwise Kangaskhan is gonna take some damage. So, ooh, double to Scyther. Uh, you could be doing the wave pretty soon, so I gotta be careful with that, too. So I, could, I, I should be considering energy removaling that critter. But for now, let's do a retreat into the Kangaskhan, and maybe we can just outright knock it out with the Comet Punch. That'd be pretty nice. Nah, my luck isn't that good. Well, it averaged out. <laughs> so Jigglypuff might get knocked out or not because of a potential scoop up, but that'll also discard the energy cards attached to Jigglypuff, and he might not want to... Oh, wait, what? Okay, I guess you can go for the knockout, but... I don't know if that's really super, super beneficial. Anyway, <laughs> back to Kangaskhan. Um, I may want to energy removal that Hitmonchan. Maybe. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna do that. <laughs> Just because Kangaskhan would be kind of threatened by the Hitmonchan, so... This, that's why I said this deck is kind of a good matchup for this deck as a test. It's got the types, it's got the fights, so... <laughs> and I got an energy removal, so... Let's do Gleepuff. These don't have a fighting, okay. I may just save that energy removal then, because a Scyther isn't that big of a deal. Let's try the Comet Punch, and hope that it goes decently well. <laughs> it's like, can't get four heads, never can get four heads, but sure, you can get all the tails in the world. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be energy removal, you know, that Wigglytuff there. So, it's plus power. That could potentially be a surprise KO for the uh, Kangaskhan. <laughs> Assuming I'll actually get it. I'll go for it, though. Oh, jeez. I needed three heads to actually pull it off, but it's not yeah, not looking good. Oh, wow. Unreal. <laughs> Just can never, ever believe my coin flips. Anyway. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to be going for the Magmar stall. I guess I'll just Comet Punch. I might just end up having a switch between Kangaskhan and Mewtwo. Possibly... Really? <laughs> of all the times! <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'll take it, I guess. Just because I said it never happens, it happens. <laughs> it's like the game wanted to prove me wrong. Um... Uh, I guess I, I don't know. Should I have energy removal the Magmar? Because it could poison the Kangaskhan, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I think it'll be fine. He's low on energy in general, so I don't really see him getting the poison off. Probably not. You know, it's probability wise I'm going by here. Uh, Mr. Mime could be handy as a wall for the Jig uh, Wigglytuff. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
20. All that work. For just a 20. Maybe because I used my heads to, <laughs> to get into the attacking. Uh, poison. I uh, mean, didn't manage to pull it off. This might be actually a good situation for a scoop up, potentially. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I probably should, because I got the other energy removal there, so I'm gonna go switch over to the Mew. Like so. Put Kangaskhan back in play. Now, I'm thinking what I should do is get some Psychics back for the Mewtwo, possibly, but also I could benefit with that with the Mew as well, because I'll be doing 20 damage with it, 1 for 20, because the Psy Wave. So I'm thinking what I should do is energy, uh, you got, excuse me, energy retrieval by discarding the Mewtwo, and <laughs> it's everything right on top, put that on the Mew, and then we Psy Wave. So this kind of gets things set up for a potential knockout in the future, maybe might be. Uh, scoop up, sure, sure, and Wigglytuff. Gonna probably lullaby, try and stall me out. And since I got the Kangaskhan going off on the side there, I can switch over to that a little bit later on if need be. Um, he's got a full do the wave going on here, so I might want to energy removal that. At the same time, I might want to energy removal after because of the yeah, and that removes I mean bumps it to the hand right. Uh, yeah, so it's just gonna, he's just gonna re-evolve into Wigglytuff on the next turn anyway, so I don't see the point of a Devolution Beam. I think I'm gonna go put that on Kangaskhan then. And, uh... Mm, <laughs> I guess see how things go. <laughs> see, it's a... Much better game this time around, I would say, because I got a, uh, like a, I don't want to say mirror matchup, but it's a, a typing matchup that's really favorable for a stall game, I guess you could say. Right, put that on Kangaskhan, because I need that for the Wigglytuff. But we'll see if he gets a double colorless. This might end up stalling out. <laughs> it's all run out of cards. <laughs> Kind of weird if that happens in, in two beatdown decks. Alright. Guess we should go for it. <laughs> and, oh, that's. Oh, shoot. I forgot that I. Mm, I forgot that I used up the other psychic. Well. Uh. Hmm. I could just go and fetch, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I can get the card from it anyway. Uh, Professor Rowe could help, but I'm getting low- well, as I say, I'm getting low on cards, but I don't know, I might be fine to use it. Because it's at, uh, well, let's see if I wake up, no. Uh, mm, uh, maybe not, 11 cards. Uh, <laughs> like a computer search for an energy card, I guess, because I'm just kind of accumulating Lickitung, I suppose. Put that on there. Uh, I'm still holding on to the energy removal in case of the uh, surprise double colorless, because I really want to get rid of all the double colorless if I can help it. Oh, you can go ahead. Uh, up there it is. So you're just going for the outright knockout. So I guess you're just waiting for the right opportunity. And back to Kangaskhan. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe it would have been better if you would have used that on... Uh, uh, you know, attacking Kangaskhan with the Wigglytuff to do the wave. Because I got a pretty high HP critter here. And I'm capable of getting four heads. Wow! <laughs> and I guess technically, that if you want to say it, it's bad luck if you want to call it Sonus. Because I used the energy removal on the Wigglytuff already? But how was I to know I was gonna get that? So I'm gonna consider that good luck overall. Um, 
I'm gonna try for the knockout on the Scyther. It's at 70 HP, so I need three heads to get it. I may or may not get it. I probably won't get it. I didn't. But it does put it into uh, two head Comet Punch range in the future, unless he does a scoop up or a switch or something like that. We shall see. I'm not. I'm just not gonna draw any more cards. Uh, I mean, well, other than the start of my turn. Just like have enough turns to finish him off. Wow. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. And yeah, it's definitely good I didn't use the Professor Oak because I would have been out of cards by now. So I'm just gonna kind of hold on to things and wow. <laughs> Come on. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, scoop up. Maybe he's trying to stall me out. Um, looks like I can put that on the Mewtwo. And try Comet Punch. Chances are I'm gonna knock something out with this Kangaskhan. <laughs> At least you would think. Just, just how things are supposed to go, after all. <laughs> it's, it's something that could generate 40 on average. Um, I don't know if I should actually go and... Hmm. Actually, no. Maybe I should s save that for the Cyburn. I, don't, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep Comet punching. Got a heads. Need another one. Thank you. But yeah, because yeah, the the Mewtwo. I, I definitely want to just start attacking with it outright. But I might be better off using the energy absorption instead. So I don't think that's a very wise thing to do. If I were to uh, just attach energy after energy to Mewtwo like that, so I'm gonna I wanted to save one in my hand just in case of some some sort of ire in the future. All right, four heads. Oh. <laughs> well, that's fine with me. And wow, I didn't realize that this is kind of taking me a while to make this part because of how stally this has been. So, but I definitely was able to show his deck to its fullest potential. <laughs> Uh, let's see Rocket Sneak Attack, see what he's got. Uh, I prefer if he used Professor Oak, actually. But, how do we go with plus power? And... Yeah, he's kind of low on everything, so... I think we have this one, especially if I get four heads again, which I doubt. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, that was a pretty good match there, I gotta say. <laughs> I was expecting to do two duels this part, but it's looking like I only really could do the one. Eh? Lost? Eh, guess I've gotta give you a booster pack then. Present! But yeah, I, just in case next duel will end up being also very stally, I probably shouldn't do two duels in the same part. But yeah, I definitely got the, the full demonstration of that Wiggly Tough deck for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Your deck is certainly a tough one, after all, I must admit. See you later! Indeed! <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I rebattle a second duder there! <laughs>